Hello and welcome to FileHold's uh, tutorial series. Today we're going to be looking at Outlook Watched Folders. The FileHold Outlook Watch Folder is a new method of adding emails into FileHold. The traditional methods of adding emails into FileHold are still available. So for example, you can still double click on an email, uh, go to the Add-ins tab or the FileHold tab depending on what version of Office that you're using. I'm using Office 2013 and uh, click the Add button. So here is the information getting extracted and you just need to select a destination folder for that. You can still drag and drop emails into FileHold as well. Okay, so you can see here the information is being extracted. But now we have a third method of adding emails into FileHold and that's using a watched folder. So what happens is that we create a folder inside of Outlook. We create a folder somewhere on your desktop computer or on the network. And then we create a, a method inside of FileHold, either using a FileHold watch folder or an managed import to bring that information into FileHold. So let me go through the steps with you today. The first thing we want to do is we want to create a folder that's going to hold all of the emails that are going into FileHold. And I've created all that already. Uh, so here is my folder that's going to contain all the emails that I want to put into FileHold. In order to put emails into FileHold, I can simply drag and drop them, or I can copy and paste them. If I copy and paste them, that will leave a, a copy for my uh, own personal use on my Outlook. Uh, next, I want to set up a folder on my local computer or my desktop and I'm going to put it on my C drive and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this my file hold emails from Outlook. Okay, so now I have those two folders uh, set up, one in Outlook and one on my local computer. You can also do this on your shared drive. And then I want to go to my file hold tab. Again, this will be different for if you're using a different version of Office. It can be the add-ins tab, or if you're using Office 2007, there'll just be a watched folder icon right in the home screen. I'm going to click on the watched folder icon, and I actually want to enable this. So what I want to do is I want to select the folder that I've set up in, Out in Outlook. So here's my file hold emails folder that I've created. And then I want to set, send it to my destination folder on my local computer. And that was on my C drive, so I'm going to go ahead and select that. And here it is, file hold out, emails from Outlook. Now, there are two ways, as I mentioned, to get these, doc, these emails into file hold. One is through a watched folder. If you set up a watched folder inside of FileHold, it'll bring the emails in, but it's not going to be able to extract the header information from that email. So the to, the from, the cc, the date sent, that information will not be extracted with a watched folder. However, if you want that information extracted, so that header information, you can export this information in an XML format and then set up a managed imports on the file hold side to bring that information in. So I want to set up a, a managed import because I want to keep that header information when I'm importing my emails into file hold. Okay, so now that it's set up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply drag and drop some emails into my file hold emails folder. And then I'm going to come over to file hold and I'm going to set up my managed import. So here it is here. And I'm going to add one. I'm going to call it my emails from Outlook. I'm going to browse to that that folder on my local computer. Here it is here. I want to retrieve the XML fields. So it's going to read the information that's in the header of the email. Okay. I can set up some automation settings so that the folder is automatically importing these emails all the time and brings them into the inbox. 
I can also delete the local copy of those emails and after they've been added into the file hold library they'll be removed from my local computer so I'll keep that folder on my local computer nice and clean or you can choose to move them to another folder now I want to set up my field mapping so I have an email schema that I want to use to map the header information from my email to the metadata fields of my email schema so I'm just gonna map to to from to from CC to CC subject to subject date and my attachments okay now there is also some other features that we can set up such as auto filing so if all of these emails are going into a specific folder or you can use an auto filing script to do that but we're not going to do that today we're going to send everything to the inbox so I'm going to click OK and we can see that already my two emails that I had put into that folder are now going to be in my inbox we can see that it has run and I imported two of two so let's go to my inbox and we can see here are those two emails if I open up the metadata pane here is all the information that was extracted from the headers okay let me just make this a little bit smaller okay so all we need to do now is set a destination folder where are these emails going click send and away they go thank you for watching you can contact us at any time at sales at filehold.com or visit our website for more information and video tours at www.filehold.com